everybody, Lisa here. Today I am responding to a challenge I was given from Olga at Smart Art Materials. It is their June 2019 Smart Art Materials Challenge. And the challenge is to do a kiss pour. I've done one before. I have a video on my channel here somewhere. <laughs> you guys can look for it, but I have done one. So this is a paint kiss challenge. The premise of it is you take two cups, one with cool colors, one with warm colors, and you pour them together like a ring pour. And it makes a really cool effect. I've done it before. The first one I did was okay. I'm hoping this one will be better because I would love to be one of the winners for the challenge. One of the rules of it is you had to have white background. The second rule was there had to be negative space left and you had to use warm colors and cool colors together. And you had to put the colors in from darkest to lightest in the cups. So I've got my warm colors right here. They will be listed in the video description and then I have my cool colors here they will also be listed in the video description so let's get started making my cups I'm starting with the darkest red first which is a crimson red and I'm going with the next red which is just a primary red then I'm going to use an apricot and I'm trying to keep these layered I'm trying not to let them go to the bottom or go through them then yellow on top Okay, and then I'm going to have a layer of white paint on the top so that the colors don't look so stark when they hit the canvas. The white will help it blend into the white background. And now we'll start building our cool cup. And I'm starting with Prussian blue. So I'm going to use a primary blue. Then I'm going to be using an aqua green, which is still a cool color. It's in the blue family. Then I'm going to be using a light blue. Okay, and again, I'm going to top this cup with white. I do not do well on any kind of tree ring pours because when I'm trying to be steady, my hands shake. <laughs> so this might not come out too good, but I'm going to give it a try. Start with your cups. You're supposed to have them as close together as possible and pour them as slowly as possible. So here we go. So there, we have our pour. My hand was kind of shaking a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. So now I'm going to take my torch and I'm gonna to torch this and get all the bubbles out of it. I haven't added any silicone or any kind of oil into this paint because I'm not really going for cells. Although the paint is mixed with Floetrol, which will produce cells. And if you don't know it, Floetrol is a paint conditioner. It helps to condition and thin the paint so that we can pour it. I do have to keep some negative space on at least two corners here, so I'm going to have to be careful how I spread this paint out. Try to stretch the blue out a little bit. I'd like to see some rings in there. Bring it back to center. I actually have a lot of paint on this canvas. I probably could have done with a little bit less paint in the cups. I'm not getting rings like I wanted to out of the blue. I think maybe the two blues, the darker ones, were too close in color. This looks pretty cool here though. I think I'm going to tilt a little bit more this way. Really was hoping to get some more blue showing up. It looks like some kind of weird eyeball. It's kind of cool. It uh, looks like where the yellow and blue met. Turned it kind of a green color right there. Okay, let me torch this again. This is not my best work. However, I did meet all of the qualifications for the challenge. I have white background. I have negative space on at least two corners. I actually have four. I used warm and cool colors and I layered them in my cup from darkest to lightest. So I did meet all of the rules for the challenge. How this is gonna come out <laughs> in the judging, I have no idea, but there you go. I'd like to thank you for watching 
and please stay tuned for close-ups. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell. I put out videos every Monday and Thursday and I'll see you next time. Bye.